Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Video: Jimmy Kimmel grovels and begs Sean Hannity to end their Twitter war. It appears that Sean Hannity has won the war against late-night comedian Jimmy Kimmel. On Sunday, the Late Show host issued a statement on Twitter, calling for a truce to their feud in a rather groveling fashion. You don't want to miss this. While I admit I did have fun with our back and forth, after some thought, I realized that the level of vitriol from all sides, mine and me included, does nothing good for anyone and, in fact, is harmful to our country. Even in 2018, the vile attacks against my wife and wishes for death on my infant son are shocking and I encourage those who made them to give their words and actions thought. I, too, will give my words more thought and recognize my role in inciting their hatefulness," Kimmel wrote. By lampooning Sean Hannity's deference to the president, I most certainly did not intend to belittle or upset members of the gay community and to those who took offense, I apologize. I will take Sean Hannity at his word that he was genuinely offended by what I believed and still believe to be a harmless and silly aside referencing our first lady's accent. Mrs. Trump almost certainly has enough to worry about without being used as a prop to increase TV ratings. I am hopeful that Sean Hannity will learn from this too and continue his newly found advocacy for women, immigrants and first ladies and that he will triumph in his heroic battle against sexual harassment and perversion," he wrote. It started when Sean Hannity got angry at Jimmy Kimmel for mocking First Lady Melania Trump. Kimmel had mocked Melania's accent as she read to children at the White House Easter egg roll, angering Hannity. That's her fifth language. How many do you speak? Hannity said on his show. Kimmel first responded to Hannity on his own show the next day. This is the guy who defended the multiple alleged pedophile Roy Moore. And I'm a despicable disgrace? Kimmel said. You know what I think is disrespectful to the First Lady? cheating on her with a porn star after she has a baby. Why don't you rant a little about that, Sean Hannity? And go get a haircut, you hippie." Rather than wait for his next show, Sean Hannity fired back on Twitter, marking Jimmy Kimmel's history of misogyny dating back to his time on The Man Show. Today's poll, Hannity wrote. So tonight will it Jimmy Kimmel be one asking 18-year-old girls to touch his crotch? 2. Make fun of the First Lady reading books to children. 3. Be a racist a-hole. For all of the above? In a previous tweet, Hannity referred to Kimmel as Harvey Weinstein Jr. Kimmel fired back in his own tweet, stating, I vote for whichever one best helps you trivialize the horrors of Harvey Weinstein by comparing them to televised comedy bits in which every woman was a willing participant who gladly signed a release. You are a bully attacking the First Lady of the USA. Attack me anytime you want. Attack at real Donald Trump anytime you want. Suck up to Obama all you want. Having 18-year-old girls grab your crotch is creepy and perverted. How would you feel if it was your daughter Harvey Jr.? Hannity fired back. Harvey Jr., you have over 100 writers, you are in last place, that's all you have? Hashtag keep up. You are a poor man's Colbert. That is when Kimmel, as any grade school kid would do when confronted by someone who is far ahead of them intellectually, responded to Hannity's jabs by insinuating that Hannity was gay. When your clown makeup rubs off on Trump's ass, does it make his butt look like a creamsicle?" He wrote, followed by a tweet that read, Don't worry, just keep tweeting, you'll get back on top. Or does Trump prefer you on bottom? Either way, keep your chin up big fella. X. O. Noted entertainment reporter Perez Hilton, who is openly gay, smashed Jimmy Kimmel for the attacks and said that he believed that liberals would have attacked a conservative who said the same things. Kimmel did not respond to Hilton or others who called him out for his homophobic attack. But the statement waving the white flag with Sean Hannity could be his way of backing out of the fight as gracefully as he can, sans having to address his homophobic comments. As of this writing, Hannity has not responded to Kimmel's call for a truce. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.